everyone, it's Avery Dawnside and welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna be 100% honest, um, this was an impulse record. I was in my Zoom lecture and I started playing Star Stable, which don't do that kids, make sure you focus on your schoolwork. But then I realized that there were new quests and I started to do them and I was like, hold on. Let me do a reputation rambles because I'm running out of quests to do reputation rambles with. And so yeah, today we are on Barney. I finally picked his nickname. Actually, this will be the beginning of the rambles. So I did finally pick a name, but it wasn't really my, like I didn't pick the name. So obviously you guys know I bought a lot of horses at, um, oh, okay. Um, I bought a lot of horses in my shopping spree and for some of them I had nicknames but then for others I didn't and I like could not come up with any nicknames and especially for- oh no, oh no, oh this is chaotic. Um, but I couldn't come up with any nicknames for this horse that I'm on right now because it's the one that um, it's the trackner at Golden Leaf that doesn't have, have a house and like um, someone left a really cute comment and it was like, that's so cute that she picked like the horse that didn't have a house. Oh, is that the end? I'm confused. Is that the end of the quests? Oh, no, no. Okay. Okay. Um, anyways. Um, and you guys were like, that's so cute that you bought the horse that didn't have a home. And so I wanted to do something like a nickname that like... <laughs> gave this horse like some symbolism um with like now having a home and I was like I could name him homie but I don't want to name this horse homie and then I was like well my mom was like you can name him like homeless and I was like what we are not gonna name this horse homeless so I hadn't picked a name for the longest time until the other day I like I was like mom I cannot think of a name for this horse, so I need a second opinion. Nothing else that anyone has suggested is fit, and right now, like, I just, just give me what you got. And she was like, well, and I told her the background story of the reason that I did was because it was just the only one outside, and I felt bad for it. And she was like, well, that's kind of cute. Like, what if you named him, like, Barney? Because, like, now he has a barn. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is perfect. So, now I officially introduce you to Barney, my cute little Barney man. His head is down, but it's fine. Oh, there he is. Um, my cat is currently staring at me, but it's okay. I'm also um, currently making a lot of these like reputation rambles, training videos, all of those things. So expect a lot of those to be coming out because I have so much training to do. As you guys know, I, I have six horses to train. I've actually already trained two. But there are two other horses that I really want to get, except I'm back to that rule where it's like, I can't buy another horse until all of my horses are trained, or like I can't do another shopping spree until all the horses I bought from the first shopping spree are trained. So I'm kind of like trying to hurry up and get the training going so that I can, you know, buy those horses that I want. Um, I won a 1k star coin giveaway, so my star coins have been replenished a little bit. I'm super fortunate to have so many star coins, but I really want to spend them again and do another shopping spree because I, like, during my shopping spree, it was interesting. I, like, thought I had all the horses that I wanted, and I was like, oh, like, I don't really want a lot. And then literally the day after I did it, after I posted, oh, that's such a pretty view. Oh, oh, that's so pretty. Okay, anyways, um, but the day after I did my shopping spree, I was like, oh yeah, like, I don't really want any more horses, and then, uh, I found more horses that I wanted, but I'm sticking to my rule. So many of you ask me how I keep my horses trained and how I keep up with everything, and I keep up with it because, okay, I don't know where I'm going. I keep up with it because... I stick to my rule of you can only buy another horse when all the other horses are trained. So yeah, um, I guess why we continue going on, ow, my back really hurts. Oh, 
if you guys like welcome to the very raw version of Avery Dawnside. Uh, this is this is the raw side of Avery Dawnside. This is just me rambling on about my life because personally I love training to these types of videos like just listening to people talk. I talked about this in my live stream a little bit but talking talking <laughs> listening to people talk especially people's voices that I like and I know a lot of you um like have been telling me to make more like training videos because you like to listen to my voice when when I tr when you train what which is kind of creepy if you think about it but it's not really creepy like it's like flattering anyways so oh I know her um so I am making those requests happen and we are making more rambling videos because you guys know I could ramble on forever so I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about Lola. Lola is the um, lesson horse that I ride at my barn and she has been doing really good. I'm really just proud of our progress. I rode yesterday and like um, a lot of, so I ride in a group lesson of seven people, which is <laughs> quite a lot, um, but so they are all, like we're all basically the same level, but some of the horses are more advanced than others and since Lola is still kind of um, in her training and stuff she's only four she's a baby still she hasn't done a lot of the things that other horses have done so while the other people in the lesson were doing like grid work and gymnastics Lola and I were just kind of chilling and doing some regular jumps and it was honestly super nice just because like we got to bond and everything and I just oh, I'm really excited for Lola and I's journey I hope that I stay on her for a while because um, usually I hop around from like lesson horse to lesson horse um, until you find the right one and finally like having Lola is I'm so excited for the future with her I just feel like it's gonna be so good um, speaking of Lola this just reminded me so today I so to oh my goodness I cannot drive um, Okay, so today I, speaking of driving, that's actually funny, I can drive, and today I drove 40 minutes to, like, 40 minutes there and 40 minutes back to pick up three saddle pads, which you can see on my Instagram story today. I got three new saddle pads to start, because I only had one saddle pad that I've had, where am I even going? Is this the right way? Oh, yes, it is. Okay. Um, but I only had one saddle pad that I've been using for a super long time. Um, and it has, like, my IRL name, like, embroidered on the side. And it's, like, gray. But it's got, like, magenta piping. And the logo is teal. So it's not super great for, like, outfits. Because um, it doesn't match with a lot. But I've just been using that. Or I will use, like, school horse um, saddle pads. But... So I've been on the lookout on like Amazon and Dover and just looking for saddle pads, but saddle pads can be kind of expensive, especially higher quality ones. So I usually try to get like a lot of things secondhand just because, you know, we're working with a budget here and trying to make the best of it. So anyways, this woman posted and she was selling what this one new black saddle pad and I've been on the hunt to get a black saddle pad for the longest time because black is just a color that goes with everything it matches my saddle super well and so I like contacted her and she was selling it for seven dollars brand new a Dover saddle pad and I was like oh yes I will take that off your hands and then she gave me a discount on another one that was also seven dollars and I got that and then she threw in a free one so now okay where is the ex oh there she is um so now I have three new saddle pads I have a hunter green one a kind of like a sky blue one which is the free one that she gave me and then I have the black one and I'm so happy I'm so excited to use them I'm kind of thinking of doing like <laughs> let me know what you guys think about this but I think I kind of mentioned how I'm getting more and more comfortable with like showing parts of my life on YouTube like from my IRL life but I was thinking that I could do maybe one day like a recreating um star stable outfits irl like both like just my characters outfits and maybe some outfits like for horses speaking of outfits i'm so proud of this outfit i'm usually not an outfit person hold on i'm usually not an outfit person but this i am so proud of i bought this sweatshirt in the live stream and then i was oh i didn't even notice it was plaid 
and then I was back and forth on this saddle pad and the other mainly green one but I bought this one and then I bought these white boots and I just oh, I'm so proud of this outfit I'm not a good outfit person usually I just kind of throw things together with matching colors and like oh someone just said hi to me I don't know if you're watching this video but um let me say hi back oh my goodness more and more people are noticing oh there's so there's so many of you Be sure to comment down below in the comments if you saw yourself in today's video um and that was you because i would love to know okay so this video was obviously very random i honestly like doing um just like random wednesday update videos because i think it's really fun I do have a very exciting realistic roleplay video coming out this Friday, so make sure to stay tuned. There are a lot of big things coming in that video, so get excited. Um, but as always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as always. Um, oh, you guys are so sweet. I just noticed. Oh, and Ava logged on. I love that. Okay, anyways, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as always. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye!